All right, so as you can see the clip, um, we're at a dig day. It's a $200 buy-in, all these cars from all over the place came. And I just came to record, have a good time, drink some beers. Well, my boy Jake um, thinks I can do pretty well. It's an eighth mile, uh, you know, flashlight, normal stuff. But uh, Jake thinks I can do pretty good. So he's gonna pay the $200 buy-in for me to race. I don't know how it's gonna go. Hopefully I at least make it to the second round. Like I didn't plan on racing at all today and I got like a three hour drive after the San Marillo to do autocross in the morning so we'll see how this day goes did not expect doing this luckily I have some E in the tank but I'm gonna move my car and pull all the I got all my tools and I got fuel I'm gonna pull all the shit out of the car it's hot out here alright we're gonna be racing for about three thousand dollars here that's not enough money to replace anybody's car out here alright there's, there's some nice cars out here, so if it's getting a little hairy, man, let out. It ain't worth crashing your shit. It ain't worth sitting in the 60s, it's <laughs> The money is in, $200, $200, he said it's going to be around $3,000 uh, for the payout, sorry I went down the road here to take a piss, but it is 91 degrees, the DA is about $8,000, this will be very interesting, but I pulled chip number 7, so I'm race number 7, uh, 8 is a buy run. So in the last race, in the first round, it is against a uh, 2013 Camaro, and I know no further details, I have no idea. Hopefully find out, I think they said it's either a red one or a yellow one. These came like four hours to get here for this race. So we'll see, hopefully I make it past the first round. Get some of that. Look at that. Texas for you.
check this wild thing out. I didn't even know it was here. The only car that went down. The LS swap. See? Diesel boy here, big turbo out the hood boy here. I got my money on the diesel. This is my competition. A no hood, twin turbo. GoPro got a good clip. I hope someone recorded it. I know I'm probably sure Jake did. Um, wow, good. I've been practicing against uh, Pro Charge Camaro, but in mind, shout out to Eric. That was pretty much the same issue. Like they have top end like a mother effer, but getting them things to, to stick, especially on the street, on a road like this is rough. So it's really what it's gonna come down to is, is getting traction for these races. And that's what it's all about. That's why I love eighth mile, no prep stuff. Cause it's just like, where my car shines. I don't have all, the, all that much power, but I can put every ounce of that power to the ground. And that's what really matters. The car probably makes close to a thousand and he couldn't even, you know, crazy. I'm gonna get up here and watch this next race. I'm pumped, made it to round two. That's all I really wanted. Hopefully I don't line up against a uh, all wheel drive or four wheel drive vehicle, second round. It's a simple turbo setup, light all wheel drive auto. Yeah. You'll run like a cheetah. Well, that, that truck there is what I'm racing. First round, or first first race on the on this round. Apparently, you hooked pretty good last time. I don't remember. I'm about to go back and look at the video, but you get the laptop out doing some tuny stuff. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm nervous. Lord, 
it is hot. But uh, I raced when it was expected. He knew that my car was slow, so he didn't have to turn the car all the way up and risk spinning. So it was a good race. I stayed on him pretty well, I think, for probably what big block goddamn big turbo was in that thing, you know, fuel cell, all that. It's the DSM and the Blue Balls truck, and the Blue Balls truck is the truck that beat me, so I don't feel as bad for losing. He said it makes 1300 all turned up. The truck, I don't know about the DSM, but it's a good day. Tons of people, sun starting to set, cooling off. Well, I'm about to start the final round here. Hope you guys are liking this video. Uh, we have one of these dig days, usually twice a year, at least once, sometimes twice a year. And cars come out from everywhere. It's just just a really fun event. Um, I think I did one two years ago, and now this year. But man, shout out to Jake. Uh, he, he made his money back. If I didn't say already, he bet on my car for that Camaro. I think he said he bet like 250, and he, he made his money back for paying my entry fee so that's that's pretty dope um, I got pretty cool fucking friends as you can tell <laughs> um, I just love events like this I mean I didn't expect to win I didn't come here to race anyway but just to get a win in you know show face and it's just awesome I drove the car here I bought all these cars pretty much trailer their cars here um, I drove an hour here to do this and then raced, you know. Now I got a three hour drive after this to Amarillo to go do autocross in the morning. And it's already nine o'clock at night, <laughs> Texas time. And I gotta be there at seven in the morning. So it's not even done yet. Like once it's done, we got grudge racing going on. Man, I just love being a car guy for real though. Like this shit makes my blood just flow, you know, between the drag race. I mean, I don't really like the drag strip. I mean, I do, I do like it, but it's like, the lowest. Street stuff is where it's at. It's where this car really shines, is on the street. You know, you go to a, a drag strip, you got prep and all that stuff, you know, halfway down the track, you got all that prep, you know, whatever. And out here, it's the street, you got your little burnout with your boost juice or whatever, and then from there, you know, it's mostly dependent on the road and anything more than, you know, 7,800 horsepower, unless you have your suspension set right with, you know, your car is dialed in, 
and you're just gonna spin. You're gonna spin all day, and then my little, not even 500 horsepower Golf is gonna meow, drive on by you. I wish I could show you guys like all the races I've ever had with between this and my Mark IV. There's so many races that I shouldn't have won, like like that race with that car last night with the 800 horsepower Camaro. Like I should not be winning some of these races, but because of traction and being on the street. I get out of the hole and just keep going. I'm able to put every ounce of that power to the ground, whereas, you know, people have over, over a thousand and, and they can't put 40% of that power to the ground, you know. Anyway, one little rant. We're waiting for uh, the final round here. The car, so the truck won. The truck to beat me won that race to make it to the finals, but he's still down at the end of the track, pulled over in the grass. So we think something broke. If that's the case, then the DSM, I guess, just takes the money, which should be whatever 200 times 15 is so 3,000 3,000 on, on the dot 3,000 dollars damn that would be nice I wish one day man all right so the DSM won because the other truck broke on its uh, last pass so no finals but uh, now we're on the grudge racing That's it for me tonight. Hell of a day. Love events like this. All these people, all in the name of cars. It makes me so happy. I get to see a lot of friends from all different cities. People traveled over five hours for this event. Pretty nuts. We're in the middle of middle of nowhere. Crazy. Crazy to think about all the car stuff we did. Now, like I said, I got a three-hour drive to my next race desti destination. 
for in the morning, so stay tuned for that. Actually, that video will probably come out before this video. This is a lot of clips to, to edit. But uh, thanks for watching. I uh, had a very good night. I had a lot of people come up and talk about the car. I got interviewed for the Texas Street Speed uh, YouTube page. They came out here and they were filming as well. They got GoPros on all the cars. So um, hopefully that video won't be out. It won't take too long for that to get out. And I'll, I'll link that down in the description when it does. But, uh, uh, yeah. so, so. <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.